Hi everyone, I'm Ye Wong from the University of Macau. So today I'm very excited to share our work, Gay Dating on Non-Dating Platforms with you at the CFCW conference. So online dating is an online activity. People search, meet, march, and chat with each other for romantic purpose online. So this can be traced back to the time of the dating sites, where people published personal ads to find romantic partners online. So nowadays, more and more online dating systems are appearing and help users to explore potential dating partners more efficiently. So for example, these dating apps. These are specially designed for sexual minorities, so in particular, male homosexuals, or what we call gay population. So with the development of mobile communication, gay dating applications have become popular around the world. So also in China, they have become the most popular channels for socialization among the gay community. So for instance, Blue City, the company who owns three most popular LGBTQ dating apps in China, was listed on Nasdaq in 2020. So however, we find that recent years in China, most Chinese gay men have moved from gay dating applications to mainstream social media to conduct online dating activities. So in this work, we aim to understand this phenomenon gay dating on non-dating platforms in China. So in particular, we use affordance theory to explore how online dating activities have been conducted on mainstream social media and how Chinese gay men perceive the affordance of these platforms in their online dating activities. So the case that we study is the online dating of Chinese gay men on Zhihu. Zhihu is a Chinese question and answer Q&A website. Users can create and edit questions, public public, publish answers, and post articles on Zhihu. So we observe that online dating activities on Zhihu always happens under phishing questions. So what is a phishing question? So here I show an example of a phishing question on Zhihu. The title of this question is, how do boys find boyfriends on Zhihu? Zhihu users will answer these questions with their personal ads as bite. So if other users who are considered as fishes read these answers and consider the authors of the, as potential romantic partners, they will contact the authors for further communications. So moreover, the personal ads can be promoted with app votes by other users. Also, other users can command on these personal ads to conduct public inter interactions. So after observing the online dating mechanism on Zhihu, we conduct a mixed method studies, including, including quantitative and qualitative analysis of dating ads and also interviews with experienced gay users. We further examine how users perceive Zhihu's affordances for their online dating activities at three different levels. Self, communi community, or we call it other actors level, and the audience level or called dating candidates level. So our first finding are users perceived affordance at the self level. Self-presentation is considered an important factor in online dating activities because it enables users to manage others' impressions of themselves within the online community and may further influence their online dating experience. So we find that there are three affordances distinguishing Zhihu from other platforms to meet their needs at the self level for online dating activities. The first layer is presentation flexibility, which refers to the ability that users can present themselves with a variety of content formats and styles. So we find that users perceive that they have more freedom to present themselves. They are able to use more free text to present themselves from all aspects and are not limited to sex oriented information. So the average length of the person at on Zhihu is more than 350 Chinese characters, which is almost 2.5 times more than what they can write on gay dating applications. So moreover, they would like to share their daily lives, their views of different affairs, their dating experience on Zhihu, and these are not very common on other gay dating applications. So the second uh, affordance is self, uh, uh, the presentation diversity which refers to the abilities that the user can present themselves regardless of the specific content for cell presentations. So because Zhihu is a question and answer platform, users, are un users also answer non-dating questions and post some articles on Zhihu. 
and our uh, users perceive that these answers and articles can help them to show more information of themselves, which are not included in the personal ads. So the third affordance, self-promotion, refers to the ability of presenting oneself or make information visible to a wide range of audience. So users always want their data information to be seen by more potential dating partners, which might determine the success rate in online dating activities. So in most dating applications, the platform determines how much a user's information is displayed to other users, and the recommending mechanism is not public. So however, on Zhuhu, the answers can be listed by the editing time, and some users perceive because of this, user have a, has a better self-promotion affordance for online dating compared to other dating applications. So online dating is not a process with single participants, but involves different actors within the community as well. So it is important for the dating platforms to support users at a community level. So we find that users perceive that upvoting up and commenting functionality allows them to interact with each other under the public without sexual desire. And also, the so information filtering in Zhuhu helps them to filter the display of self-presentations self of other actors. So the last level of online dating affordance is at the audience level. The first perceived affordance is the audience accessibility, which refers to the ability to meet potential dating candidates. We find that Zhuhu enables users to access a large amount of audience. They can browse any number of self-presentations of, self of other users without any limitations, such as locations or memberships. And they can communicate with the potential candidates through private message. So this significantly improves their data experience. The second affordance at audience level is the audience suitability. So it refers to the ability to meet dating candidates with similar dating papers and meet their requirements. So we find that because Zhuhu is not location-based, so it reduces the use of the platform for dating purpose by people who only seek for sexual relationships. So therefore, users are more likely to find audience who also look for serious relationships on Zhuhu. So the last affordance of Zhuhu at the audience level is the communication effectiveness. Because Zhuhu allows multi-dimensional personal presentation, so communication effectiveness is improved by the direct information delivery and avoiding interrogative conversations. So in this work, we explore the dating needs of Chinese gay men. They are not only looking for casual sex. So however, the design of current Chinese gay dating applications are more easier for users to find hookup, but not serious relationships. So we demonstrate the gap between user needs and application designs under the context of Chinese community and explored how mainstream social media can help with the minority group to find romantic relationships online. So we expect our study can provide implications for both LGBTQ service providers and also research community to contribute to the development of the cyberspace for the minority group of people in non-Western countries. So thanks for your interest and your time. Due to the time constraint, we do not show all our results but it is always welcome for further questions and discussions, and you can reach us by email or Twitter, or even visit us in Macau, which is a fascinating city of delicious food. Thanks.